beauties now this is to another level Hi beauties, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Helen Maringi. Beauties, don't you love what you're seeing? If you want to know how I achieve this look, please keep watching, subscribe to the channel, like this video if you like it, and let's go ahead to the video. So I will start by doing my brows. I have a beginner friendly brow tutorial on how to do brows. If you're interested in knowing how to do brows, I will leave the link in the description box. Be sure to go and check it out. So now to prime my eyelids, I'll be using Elegal Pro Concealer in the shade Toffee and Espresso. Then to blend that in, I'm using a damp beauty blender. To set that, I'll be using Sasha Buttercup and make sure there are no creases before you setting the concealer. Then I'll be working with those shades of brown and a little bit of a brown reddish eyeshadow. And those are the colors that I'll be using for my transition in shade. Then to soften up the edges, I'll be going in with that neutral brown color. And I have a tutorial on how to blend eyeshadow and it's very beginner friendly. I will also leave it in the description box. Then I'll be using Huda Beauty palette and I'll be using that black color. 
Then I'll also go in with a gel liner. So first I'm using the gel liner and I'm just tapping it in a way that I'm creating a crease. So the reason why I'm using a black gel liner before the black eyeshadow is to make sure that the black eyeshadow will be popping and the pigment will be what I want because I'm going for a very dark, very dark, dark look. So I'm using a fluffy brush to just take off the excess gel liner. Then I will also use the same same brush to just mattify the gel liner with the black eyeshadow. So as you can see, the gel liner is starting to look less shiny. Then I'll go in with a flat brush and try to now build in the crease. So what I'm using to build the crease is just the black eyeshadow. I'm no longer using the black eyeliner. And as you can see, I'm working using circular motion to just make sure that the edges don't have a harsh ending. So then now I'm using a round brush to give the edges a more seamless finish. So I'm just building that softly with the black eyeshadow until I get the results that I want. Then I went in with my finger to just deepen the black eyeshadow color. So I'm just tapping the black eyeshadow onto the eyelid. Then I felt that the transitioning shade sort of disappeared so I went back to just add some more. Then I'll go back with the neutral brown shade on the brow bone area to just make everything seamless. So I decided to tap some more black eyeshadow onto my eyelids just to remove the fallouts from the transitioning color. And there we go with the eyes. I went ahead and did some lashes then I went ahead and used some wet wipes to remove the fallouts of the eyeshadow before going on with the primer and foundation so 
So to prime my face, I'd be using Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. And I'll be using my fingers to just spread that in. Then always make sure that you give your primer time to set into your skin before moving on with the foundation. So for foundation, I'm using LA Girl in the shade Ebony. And I'll be mixing that with the Maybelline Fit Me. So I'm using a small beauty blender to blend in that area close to my brows because I don't want to mess the brows up. Then I'll move in with a larger beauty blender. And you can see how the two foundations are blending in nicely. So for a seamless blending in make sure that the beauty blender is damp and use the tapping motion don't drag just tap Then to conceal and highlight, I'll be using a legal pro concealer in the shade Toffee. And I will blend that in with a beauty blender. Then to set the areas that I concealed and highlighted, I'll be using Sasha Buttercup setting powder. So I'm just doing a reverse contour and this is what I usually do when it comes to contouring. I always do a reverse contour. Then a look is not a look, a complete look without some highlight. So I'm just highlighting the teardrop area. Then I went ahead and used the colors that I used for my transition in shade to just smoke out my under eye. Then I'm just adding some mascara on the bottom lashes. And you know, your girl has to glow, so some highlights on the cheek. Then for the lippy, I'll be using Kiss Beauty in number 3. And this will be my liner for the Lear Cream Lippy from Urban Decay. Then I went ahead and highlighted the brow bone area. And yeah, this is the final look. 
glowing as usual i love this look you know i actually didn't know that i would look this good in black eyeshadow i mean for my complexion but there's always a first time and i loved everything i love the outcome and the good thing about this look is that for the eyes there's really not much to do especially if you struggle with a winged liner you don't have to do a winged liner for this look you can just wear your lashes and you're good to go and i loved everything about this look the combination of the black eyeshadow the nude lippy is just on top so guys let me know what you think if you love this look don't forget to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends tell a friend to tell a friend subscribe to the channel if you love my content and i'll be happy to hear from you leave your comments down below glowing glowing all the way and yes black eyeshadow is wearable and that's it for today beauties see you in my next video bye bye